I'm out in the scenic Maine woods again today with Hunter. It's March and the temperature's in the 20s. Thanks for joining us today on Wilderness Academy. One of the true simple pleasures of being in the wilderness in the winter is when you get cold, no matter what time of the day it is, stop and make yourself a hot drink. Nothing will warm you up quicker or ward off hypothermia than getting that hot drink inside your body. Whether your preference is hot chocolate or coffee or tea, it just seems like it always tastes better when you make it in the woods. It's a really fundamental skill, but today I want to walk you through exactly how I do it. One of the easiest of bushcraft skills is to make a tripod. You're going to use that to hang your kettle over the fire to heat up your water to make your drink. You're only going to need two tools. You're going to need a saw, and you're going to need about three feet of paracord. And I'll show you how to put that together. Try and find three dead dry straight branches that are a little thicker than your thumb and a little taller than your waist. That's what I've done here. Then take a section of paracord about three feet long or so and tie a loop in the end of it. Then run the other end of that line through the loop of your paracord, put it around the wood and secure it tight. Once you've secured your three poles at the top with your paracord snugly, leave yourself about a foot there at the end and then just take those last wraps, go up through the tops and come down and then maybe on that very last one you can leave a half hitch in that one to secure it and that'll be fine because those legs are going to tension up when you spread them and put them into function anyhow. Here's what the top of the tripod looks like after you've secured it with your paracord, made your wraps and then secured it off with a simple half hitch. Once you've secured the three sticks tightly at the top then you can spread the legs to make your tripod. You're ready to build a fire and I'll show you how you put a kettle on that. Let me show you the knot that tricks out my tripod and it makes my kettle adjustable so that I can control the flame on the bottom of my cooking. It's called the taut line hitch and it's a very important knot in bushcraft and you need to know it. Let me show you how to tie it. I brought some fluorescent orange paracord for visibility. First thing, just make a very simple loop. The only thing vital in that process is make sure that your line for that loop is on top. Once you have your loop Take your paracord, come up through the bottom of that loop, and pinch that between your fingers. Then repeat that. Come up through the bottom, snug it down, pinch it with your fingers. And if you've done that properly, you're going to have two wraps around that loop. Transfer that into your hand, pinch it off. As with all knots, take the time to do it slowly, do it right the first time. Take your tag end, come up over the top of that line, and then once again, come up through the hole. Once you've come up through that hole, then take your line and just proceed to snug everything down. Once you've got everything snug down and tight, it's going to look like this. Now, the nice thing about the taut line hitch is it gives you the ability to adjust that knot. You can slide your line through make your loop bigger or you can take that knot and slide that line through make your loop smaller and when you pull on that knot it doesn't give it's the exact same knot that I use to secure my stakes to my tent or to my tarp or when setting up shelters and it's a very important bushcraft knot and you need to learn how to tie it Another way I trick out my tripod in the bush is I use a carabiner. I run the line through it that I adjust and then I'm able to put my kettle on. It holds my kettle securely and gives me the ability to take it off the fire easily. The size and the strength of your tripod is going to vary based upon your cooking needs. But for simple cooking or for making a hot drink, this size works great. What I really like best about this system is when it's time to set it up, 
I don't have to wander off into the woods to look for the perfect stick to suspend my pots and pans. I don't have to carve anything. I don't have to make a withy out of natural materials. I'm not wasting energy or time. Everything in the system is in the kettle. And once it's set up, you can use it to simmer in the position that I have it now if you're just wanting to keep something warm. But when it's time to cook or to purify or boil your water, that simple knot that I showed you gives you the ability to lower or to raise that kettle over your fire, even right down onto the coals. And then you have full control of the flame that's on the bottom of your pots and pans. It'll not only help out your cooking skills, but I think you'll find that you'll not burn or scorch your pots and pans if you learn how to use this system wisely. Another tip that I'd give you is don't cook over a roaring flame. Those flames were over 900 degrees and it only takes a little over 200 degrees to boil your water and to cook. And so be patient. Let your fire burn down into a hot bed of coals as I'm doing now and then bring your tripod into place. I think you'll find that you'll not only cook more efficiently but you won't burn as many items. Those coals are just about ready now. As you can see, it's gotten dark. I've switched over to night shot to finish up the video. I'm going to clean up and get out of here in just a few moments. But I wanted to say thank you for watching. Hope you learned something today. Join us again soon on Wilderness Academy. <laughs>